We got brutal on the scene, wicked and mean. You know the jump shot clean, keep it a beam. And in the lane, baby, flow the soft with a lean. And when you put me on the block, call me the dream. Woodhook, Woodhook, it's your boy. You don't know brutal, see on the scene, wicked and mean with a next video for y'all man so y'all know what it is man y'all know what it is by now I'll give y'all five seconds five seconds and these likes do help the channel out man to be honest the youtube actually aligned the algorithm with likes so the more people like the video the more people get early notifications man all right that's why i'm always giving y'all five seconds to make sure and like up the video I know y'all got your boy. I know y'all got your boy, man. Bruce Squad, we in the building. Now, I went to Ronnie's stream. And he spoke about some things. Don't kill the messenger. Do not kill the messenger. And I'll be seeing y'all in the comment section, of course. Oh, I hate Ronnie. He trash. Oh, Ronnie two cap. Yeah, don't kill the messenger, man. Don't try to don't try to 300 your boy, man. You know, I, I, I'm not taking that. I ain't taking that. All right. I'm just the messenger at this moment. Let y'all know what's going on in the community, right? So he spoke about a few things. Now, the first thing he spoke about pretty much that stood out to me was he spoke about next gen 2k's rollout and this is what he had to say y'all yeah um things feel the same and if you want to know when the next gen asset's going to come out go look at 2k14 we released the first the first you know the lebron talking the lebron thing in june that year we did it june this year and then the phil collins lebron trailer anyway now, it's a real interesting thing to note that I actually saw him mention this previously before and I did an entire video, went and did the research and I did a whole video giving y'all the rollout. So I will, y'all gonna see pop up somewhere, top corners, top right corner of the video. Um, y'all gonna click on that or I'm gonna put the link in the description so y'all can check out that video. It's a really good video done to make y'all kind of get a uh kind of average pretty much right so it won't be i don't i don't think it would be exact like when 2k14 roll out because considering what's going on in the world today there's gonna be a slight delay on damn near everything y'all everything right so i would take it uh, but not run with it like it's set in stone because of what's going on but at least you will get an idea of around you know just an average time frame to look forward to now the next thing that he spoke about right was actually um what you get with the different versions or what transfers and check out what he got to say on this i didn't answer what i think you're asking me which is if you get ps4 kobe uh you will have it on both current and next gen um, what that means digitally, it's pretty simple. Friday, as in a week from today, you can you'll have it on current gen, and then whenever you get the new console, and whenever the new console releases, obviously, um, you would have uh, have it ready for PS5 as well. And then, do you get an extra 100k on next gen from the Kobe PS4 edition? I, this question, by the way, there's a link. And ben, if you have that link, real quick. Um, Let's uh, drop it, but it's the Q and A link. Um, but basically, you get a hundred on Friday for current gen. Then whatever you do VC wise from there, you get that plus another hundred when next gen hits, hits. Does that make sense? So let's say you, there it is, nba.2k.com/faq. But basically, if you uh, get your hundred K next week and you don't spend any vc uh, you would have 200k plus whatever obviously you earned over the course of the next couple months so when people are saying oh i'm just gonna wait till next gen it doesn't really make a lot of sense because you could be earning towards next gen um you know up front so now i understand what he's saying um, but at the same time, a lot of people are still not comfortable with what they're seeing for current gen. So a lot of people chose to skip current gen for next gen. That's still understandable. In my opinion, right? If you're not comfortable with a product, 
don't get it don't put your money to it there a lot of fun game drop some people say yo i'm gonna be playing madden some people say yo that 2k golf is real like some people are impressed after the trailer so there are different categories of people some people just i'm good on this one man i'll wait till next gen when they actually wow me and then i'll put my time into the game then but me personally i'm gonna get current gen of course mamba edition and then get my grind on and that vc will transfer over and i see that more beneficial to me than anything i could go run up the ante up court you know what i mean i'm gonna be on ante up yo get ready for the sweat yo i ain't gonna front because i'm about making that vc this time around i'm telling y'all sweaty brute in the building i'm coming out yo i'm coming out with headband on arm sleeve on the whole nine a towel on over my shoulder man i'll be there with the water with the with the mop boy waiting to wipe up the sweat when i come off the court but i'm not playing with y'all man i'm coming into the stage i'm just warning y'all i'm just warning y'all man get ready for the sweat on that current gen it's about transferring vc and when next gen drops i should not be buying vc i should not be buying any vc and i should man anyways anyways we go y'all gonna see man y'all gonna see y'all think i'm playing but anyways anyways let's talk about something ronnie mentioned again he spoke about the layer basically indicating that it's not the same layout because a lot of people in the chat yo this look like my g this look like nba 2k20 just reskin like they just change a few colors and probably change the backdrop it looks like the same layout which is the court in the middle and everything surrounds it and this is what he said y'all what does that mean is the neighborhood bigger than last year you probably saw a lot of things packed into in there are you talking about like because the neighborhood was only one big square. I'm not exactly understanding the question. The layout is is definitely different. You guys will see. We're a week away. Now, I ain't going to front with y'all, man. I, I would take this one with a grain of salt. I would take this one with a grain of salt. Because this was the same tone he was saying last time around with the respect he was this was the same tone that he was speaking on when he when we saw the leak footage last year on the same neighborhood he was like it's not the same neighborhood you're gonna see same tone he actually responded to this pretty much accusation or people just saying yo it's the same it looked like the same um reskin neighborhood so I will take this one with a grain of salt. Until the game drops, I don't know. I think it got. A, we already see like there's a slight change because there's a offside for the twos. The twos is kind of off to the side, but still, but still, that might not. You know, you might not need a dramatic ch change for this one. I ain't gonna front. So take this one with a grain of salt. Now the next thing he spoke about, or the final thing I want to highlight, he actually spoke on. You know, people ask him about what about the volleyball um, nets on the side and not only that, the Ferris wheels and stuff like that. Will we be able to do you know, some extra activities? And this is what he had to say on that, y'all. We're obviously a racing game, a, a wrestling game, a Ferris wheel uh, simulator game. We allow you to do it all. Okay. Just to be clear, since people don't understand sarcasm sometimes, I am totally joking. We are a basketball game first, meaning don't get NBA 2K to go ride a Ferris wheel. Let me say that very clearly. Mitch, you can play out your Top Gun uh, volleyball game uh, scene montage in real life. We don't get to play it in 2K. So basically no all of those other things are for sure all the other things are for sure although in previous two cases they had us playing dodgeball in it yeah i never played dodgeball i'm sorry <laughs> i wasn't just i just wasn't interested i just wasn't and he had a few other small games i just wasn't interested but some people did have a lot of fun playing these events just not your boy i'm sorry i i, I uh, no 
But anyways, man, that's all I got for y'all, man. You know I gotta keep y'all up to date on what's going on in the 2K community. Now, I should get some extra props for going in Ronnie's stream and recording all this to drop y'all the news, man. So all I ask right now is for y'all to like the video and share it, you know what I mean? That's all I ask, man. Y'all know what it is, your boy Sim. You know I'm gonna keep y'all up to date. So don't forget, if you're first time to the channel, and you want to always be up to date on the news, tips, tricks, tutorials. Make sure like the video, share the video, and hit your boy your sub. Subscribe. <sighs> if it's not your first time though, like the video, share the video. You never know who's gonna be informed, you Your boy Simon, love, respect, bless up. Peace, peace, peace.